All right, we're gonna start something different, but also something old at the same time. So, if you're new here, be sure leave a like, comment, and subscribe for NBA content basically every single day. 90% of you still aren't subscribed, so, so hit that subscribe button and enjoy this video. All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Well, it's not really welcome. I gotta stop doing that. I'm just so used to it. Welcome to this new realistic franchise. It's been a while since I've done a franchise. I finished the Cavaliers franchise. I never finished the Las Vegas Aces franchise because I just got bored with it. But we're going to do a realist, semi-realistic one with the Detroit Pistons. It's between the Pistons and the Spurs. I decided to go with the Pistons. Uh, so you already know, I did start today. And March 11th, the season did get suspended. So we are on March 10th. Trade deadline passed, so I'm not going to be doing any trades. We're just going to sim right to the end of the season. We're going to do the offseason in this video. And then next episode will be the start of the season. I will be playing games, but they will be on five-minute quarters. So just keep that in mind. I will have sim stats on, all that fun stuff. But I don't want this just to be a simulation. Every video, there's a trade. I want to actually get gameplay in. So there will be gameplay. But in this episode, we're just going to sim right to the end of the season. You see our roster. Derrick Rose is actually our best player. He will probably get moved this offseason. Try to trade him to an actual contender because he's actually really good. Averaging 18 points this season. Uh, Blake Griffin, definitely going to try and trade him to another contender, hopefully. They want to take his contract after this bad injury-riddled year. Last year, he was baller. He was an all-NBA type player, but not really. Um, Luke Kennard, probably going to keep around. Christian Wood, look to re-sign him. So yeah, we're just going to do this rotation. Uh, I guess I'm going to start. Yeah, we don't really have a point guard. Brandon Knight is our best point guard other than that. So we're going to start D-Rose. I'm not going to play him 35 minutes. That's just that's just wrong. I think 30 minutes is good enough. Kennard, though, we're going to play 34 minutes. Tony Snell, eh. Blake Griffin, only 30. John Hens. I actually want Christian Wood to start. I'm actually going to put Christian Wood at center. He definitely can play center. So we're going to put Christian Wood at center. We also want him playing a lot of minutes. Uh, John Henson, you're not going to get many minutes whatsoever. So Luke Kennard and Christian Wood both will be playing 36 minutes a game. I want Jordan McRae as a sixth man. Uh, Langston Galloway. I want Bruce Brown definitely getting more minutes than you. We have three shooting guards playing. So Langston Galloway, you're actually not going to play. Neither is John Henson. I'm going strategic here. I might move... Do I move? Bruce Brown is a point... Okay. So Bruce Brown can actually play some backup point guard for us. So Thon Maker, we're going to give minutes. How is he doing this season? I just have a habit of looking at this. He's eh. Uh, I guess this dude's going to... I don't know how to say his name, so... Actually, no. We're going to have... Or do we send him to the G League for... I think I might send him to... Yeah, he's definitely going to the G League. We don't need him to play. So we're definitely going to send him to the G League. Oh, uh, yeah. This, As you can't tell, this is going to be a full tank. I mean... We're, we're tanking. There's nothing else to it. Alright. So there's that. And I'm going to send Seku straight to the G League. And that's really it. Because everyone else is actually playing. I can't send anyone else to the G League. On the fly lineups. Uh, I guess. Actually, no. Brandon Knight's not going to play. So we're going to put... Uh, what's his name? Bruce Brown there. And then we're going to have... I don't know who our backup power forward even is. Uh, I guess John Henson. So, let's just sim to the rest of the season. It is going to be quick since I am on PC, so... That's cool. He didn't really make any signing or waivers. We somehow only lost by one to the Sixers. I am going to do the scouting. Because, I mean... We're the Pistons, so I'm just going to scout the top guys as much as I can. There we go. Because on this team, we really need anything. We need anything on this team. We're going to have a top pick. We only have 20 wins, and... I don't see us getting any more than that like we're on a huge losing streak bro i put injuries on 20 why is everyone getting injured like come on 2k injuries I, do i need to put injuries on 10 that's just ridiculous all right i guess langston galloway's playing this is what's happening now uh 21 17 and 11 like that's just stupid 2k we're on a big losing streak 10 game losing streak that's what we like to see we gotta be one we have to get top pick oh we spanked the blazers come on now I don't see us winning more than 23 games, to be honest with you. Uh, Anthony, we're not going to get, like, a top, top pick, but it's good to scout these guys. I mean, we're going to have a top five pick. I will make sure of that. Uh, I mean, we're going to leave the rotation as is. Why is everyone getting hurt? Injuries are on 20! Oh, man. Yep, okay, okay he's healed. Yeah, like I said, we're not going to finish with more than 23 wins. Yep, we finished 22-60. and 60. 
Giannis wins MVP, John Morant Rookie of the Year, Dennis Schroeder, Sixth Man of the Year, Kawhi Defensive Player, Bam, my boy Bam ends up winning Most Improved, and Mike Budenholzer wins Coach of the Year. Here are the All-NBA teams. Obviously, we're not going to get anyone on any All-NBA team. Uh, yeah, no. Not a single person. So, obviously, we're not going to, we're not here for the playoffs. I want to see how everyone else did at the end of the season. Derrick Rose almost averaged 19. Blake Griffin actually balled out at the end of the season, averaging 18. Luke Kennard, he went from like 10 to 15. Christian Wood is averaged 12. All right, our guys actually did very solid, honestly. Did very solid, so I'm excited to rebuild this team. Voice crack. I'm excited to rebuild this team. The Heat actually won in the first round, but get swept by the Bucks. That wouldn't happen. And the Bucks sweep the Clippers and win the NBA championship. It's going to be hard to win the East, especially if you're doing like a realistic rebuild. So, we're going to not go through any of those. Draft lottery. This, I, I don't know if I want to skip it. We have projected the number one pick. It's 14%. But we have a chance to get the number one pick here. So, let's see. I'm going to stop that so I can just skip right through. Celtics end up getting 14. I don't know who that's from. Is that from Sacramento? Memphis. All right. So, Memphis didn't make the playoffs. The 13th pick. The Blazers didn't make the playoffs. They get the 13th pick. All right. Makes sense. Uh, Kings, I might just skip straight to, you know, I'm going to skip to, like, the top five or if anything actually changes. Oh, the Suns move up! The Hawks get nine, and the Suns move up to the top four. Now, that's something that definitely changed. The Bulls move up! Minnesota gets screw screwed over. They get the seventh pick, and now the Bulls are in the top four. So that means the Suns and the Bulls both move the top four. Okay, that's, and the Cavaliers are going to six. What is this draft lottery? Okay, the Warriors are at number five since everyone moved to top four. Let's see, the Warriors get number five. They were projected number two and they fall to five. That's just not fun. Knicks projected four, and it's gonna, wow, we got screwed. We get the fourth pick. Wow, oh, that's horrific. So the Suns, Cavs, and Knicks all move... Actually, not the Knicks. The Suns and Cavs. The Suns move from 9 to 3. And the Cavs are going to move... No, not the Cavs. The Bulls are going to move from 7 to... The mo Bulls move from 7 to 2, and the Knicks are going to get the first overall pick. Man. The, top, the teams with the top 3 projected picks didn't even get in the top 3. That's just bad, man. We end up with four. That's not bad. We might, Maybe we can do a trade. I don't think I'm going to get one. But maybe we can do a trade. Uh, Dwayne Casey actually want to keep around. But like when it comes to staff-wise, this ain't realistic. I'm signing whoever the hell I want for staff. Except for like maybe head coach. Because I like Dwayne Casey. Uh, assistant coach, though. Bye, Cindy Lowe. Uh, can I actually? No, okay. I was about to say. Can I sign him? Uh, we're going to sign Tred Peterson, assistant GM. You ain't going to be doing much because I'm the GM around here, but we'll sign you, and then you're a bum, so we'll sign Kevin Nix Nicholson, whatever the hell. Uh, we get all of them, so there we go. We're going to go to, I think it's a catch-up scout. I might as well look at this stuff. Uh, let's see. Draft Express number one is obviously Anthony Edwards. We just got all 69%, which is pretty damn nice if I'd say so myself. Uh, so that, that's just... But, uh, oh, can I act? Oh, I can plan a scouting. All right, so, like, Cole, An do we go for, we have to go for, like, a point guard. I think Cole Anthony's really good to go for. So, I think we're going to go Cole Anthony's right in our thing. We're going to plan a scouting trip. We're going to pick Cole Anthony. In the rare case, Anthony Edwards doesn't get picked. We have five more left. Uh, James Wiseman would be nice. Uh, I w any position is really at need. Like, Cassius Stanley would be nice. Because I kind of want to trade for another pick. Theo Maladin, definitely. And not Charles Bassey. Uh, maybe a Quora we can get. Maybe trade. Lamel, definitely. Alright, that should be good. We're going to scout these prospects. There we go. Uh, James Wiseman is a 77 overall. We got him 100%. Anthony Edwards is at 99. But he might be like a 70-something overall. 79, I'm guessing. Uh, Cole Amp Everyone else is at 99%. So that that's epic. Uh, Isaiah Stewart, we weren't scouting him. NFL, NFL scout. Nope, definitely not the NFL. Oh, who is the fastest? Cassius Stanley is the fastest. Did not expect that from a shooting guard. Uh, the slowest, we don't really care. 
Uh, vertical jump. Cassius Stanley is the fastest and has the highest vertical. He obviously tied. Oh, no, that's... No, no, that's tallest. Uh, bench press. Anthony Edwards, but Cassius, Stan Cassius Stanley's looking good. Standing 15-foot shot. There's um, Anthony Edwards. I want to look for these three. Standing college three-pointer, obviously. But we, we, we don't want college. We want a standing three. NBA. Brian Antoine and Jaden McDaniels. This is Cole Anthony, who I'm planning on drafting. Uh, we see he is tied for first for the NBA three. So that's looking good, actually. Uh, Pre-draft workouts. We're going to take Cole Anthony. Uh, I guess James Wiseman. Anthony Edwards. I got nine more invites. All right. Uh... Cassius Stanley, definitely, because he actually balled out in the combine. Uh, Maladin. I might as well take, like, the top guys. So, RJ Hampton, Nico, uh, Tyrese Maxey, and, like, someone... Isaac Okoro and Lamella Ball. There we go. Uh, Cassius Stanley still has the best sprint. He does not have the highest vertical, but he is still at 40. Anthony Edwards actually does. Bench press is Anthony Edwards. Uh, for the NBA 3, RJ Hampton for moving 3. Uh, Cole Anthony for standing, that's what I expected, and, and for moving. So, Cole Anthony right now is on the top of my board. Oops, I almost went right to there. So, we're going to the NBA draft. And this is where trades are going to happen. This is where I plan on trading Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin. Derrick Rose has a small contract, so he can definitely be moved. But we need to find a team that is willing to take one of these guys. So, I'm going to try and find it. Can I not exit this? No, I can't. All right. So, I got to try and find a team that's going to take... Blake Griffin, like, who needs a power forward? So, I might as well look for that right now. Alright, we're going to try this trade. We're going to be trading Blake Griffin in a 2024 first-round pick for Dennis Smith Jr. in the 20th overall pick in the NBA draft. Let's see if this goes through. No, it doesn't. They want two more picks. I'll throw in that second. No? Okay, I'm not... That's not happening. Definitely not happening. We'll throw in another second. Bruh, I don't want this dude. I'll throw in another player, uh, Kyrie Thomas. I'll throw in Kyrie Thomas. There we go. So that's a trade I can actually happening. The Knicks bringing in a big market player. Anthony Edwards. Edwards? Yeah, that's right. Anthony Edwards ended up going four fourth. Bruh, I'm all over the place. First overall to the Knicks. So we have the 28th pick. I really want... Okay, we got to trade Derrick Rose now. We need... He is a lot easier to trade because Blake Griffin wasn't. A team that can use a point guard doesn't need to be starting point guard. But a team that could use a point guard or someone that can easily score. That is a good question. Who needs that? Uh, Pacers have Brogdon. Nuggets definitely don't. Nets definitely don't. Mavericks, not really because they have Luka. But that's not a bad place to send him. Magic, no, that's bad. The Lakers have been wanting him. He's only making 7 mil. So I don't want much for Rose. I mean, we don't need much for Rose. Honestly, we're just trying to get rid of him. Trying to send him to a place... Where he'll, you know, thrive. He'll be able to chase a championship. Uh, the Clippers? No. I don't think we're going to send him to the Clippers. Bucks? No. Uh, the Lakers isn't bad. The Lakers isn't bad at all. We're not going to take Kuzma from them. We don't want Kuzma. Definitely don't want Kuzma. Uh, young players. Uh, they, they didn't want to give up Caruso in real life. Dion's a free agent. Definitely don't want that. Uh, there's really no... What's their pick situation? They have the 29th pick. Quinn Cook, 29th pick. I kind of want one more piece because I feel like we're getting finesse. And maybe another first round pick. Like next year's first round pick. And a second. Let's see if this trade will go through. No. They want a 2023 first round pick. No, I'm not doing that. I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, I'll give you a, sec nope, a second round pick. No. I'm not giving you my first. Alright, we won't take that second then. We'll give you this. God dang it, bro. I'm not giving you my first. I want these first round picks. Give you another second. I'm not giving up that first round pick. Let's see. Anyone else we can give up that's like not going to play for us? I guess we'll get... No? Okay, he's not. Bruce Brown? I mean, how old is he? He's 23. I kind of want to keep him. I kind of want to keep Bruce Brown. Can we not? There you go. We don't need Quinn Cook. There we go. We got, what, two first-round picks and a second-round pick out of that? Damn it, they took Cole Anthony! No! Oh, the Bulls take Cole Anthony. That's who I was going to take. Okay, and then they take RJ Hampton. 
So I guess James Wiseman's still on the board. So that's dope. All right. Uh, God dang, I really wanted Cole Anthony. Really did. James Wiseman is still on the board, though. I think he's got to be unanimous. He's got to be a unanimous pick. I think we're going to go with James Wiseman, definitely. Definitely going to go with James Wiseman. It sucks because now we need a point guard. So I'm going to have to try and trade maybe to get Lamella Ball for some reason as a shooting guard. Damn, I should trade Rose for like a top pick. Now we really need to try and trade for a decent pick. So I want to go into the lottery. Maybe, uh, 13? Maybe try and get 13? James Wiseman, you're stupid if you think that's happening. Uh, 2021 Lakers pick. I'll do that for that. Ah, um, give a 2023 Pistons pick. No? Okay, fair enough. Uh, I mean, if I, I want to give up Bruce Brown. I really don't, but... I think I can give up Bruce Brown for a better pick than the 13th. I mean, let's be honest here. Um, let's see. Maybe... Can I get a top 10 pick? I'm definitely not going to get 6. Can I get a top 10 pick for Bruce Brown? Probably not. Not in the normal world. Like, 12. 12's somewhat in our range. Because I kind of want LaMelo. 11 is not bad. But the Pelicans, I'd imagine, want to keep that. Uh, 7, definitely... They probably want to do that. Five, no. Ten from the Wizards. I'm not sure if the Wizards would do that because they don't have much going on. So maybe the 13th is like the best thing. we Actually, 12. And Bruce Brown. I'm sorry, Bruce Brown. I wanted to keep you. But we're going to have to do that. So now, hopefully... LaMelo still on the ball. Uh, still on the ball, yeah. Still on the board, please. LaMelo. He's not here. Is he? Nope. God, man! Oh, that's tragic. Can, can we, like, trade for a little... I just did that for nothing now. Wow, I really want... We got snubbed in this draft. We really need a point guard. I should... I traded Derrick Rose for nothing. I really should, instead of going for, like, a team... Ah, God! Okay. Alright. This isn't good. This isn't good. Like, these guys, like, Mac McClung, do I even take a risk on him? Do I even take a risk on him? Ricky Rubio is his ceiling. Oh. Curtis, JJ Reddick's his ceiling. That's not bad. We don't need another big man. Uh, he's Isaac Okoro, 75 overall. Like, do we take a flyer? Lee <laughs> Hedgewell is still here. That's pretty funny. Do we take a flyer on this dude, Mac McClung? Isaac Okoro is the same age. We know Isaac Okoro's overall. He's a solid defender. Mac McClung cannot defend. He actually played awful. So I think we're going to go with Isaac Okoro. I think we're going to go with Isaac Okoro. That sucks that Cole Anthony was taken and LaMelo. That really sucks. So let's see who's here. Vernon Carey's still here. Well, still here. Only if I got... God damn, only if I got LaMelo. Scotty Lewis, that's not a bad pick whatsoever. We don't know his ceiling or his floor. Who's the most scout? Okay, Leandro is. That's not very good. We don't need a small forward, really, but maybe to run our bench. I mean, there's no good point guards left. No good point guards left whatsoever. Uh, Jay Scrub, what a name. What a name. I mean, converted carry play offense. No, we can't. I mean, do we take... I, I like Scotty Lewis, actually, out of this draft. But we don't need another guard. We already have Kennard. We just drafted... Uh, someone I already forgot. So, we also don't need another forward. We need a point guard. I might draft one of these guys and trade them, honestly. I think I'm going to draft Scotty Lewis, but I'm going to trade him. So those are it for our picks. I th I'm going to probably trade him and try to get a point guard. Anthony Edwards obviously goes first. He was an 81. Cole Anthony, who I really wanted, goes to the Bulls, which makes no sense because you drafted Kobe White last year. Uh, RJ Hampton goes to the Suns. We pick Wiseman at 78, who's tied for the second best player. Warriors go point guard. Interesting. Cavs go Jaden McDaniels, Isaiah Stewart. Hornets, Hornets picked up LaMelo. Ah, oh, you cheeky sons of guns. All right. We're obviously going to bring in all of them. Isaac Okoro, 75 overall. 
James Wiseman, obviously a big pickup. Scotty Lewis, 73, so he might be traded. Team player options, obviously we're going to accept all of these. I might be trading that dude. I don't know how to say his name, so I'm not going to attempt it. I imagine this video is pretty long by now. Uh, free agency. We ain't doing much. Definitely not, but I do want to get someone like Tony Snell off the books. Oh, I forgot we have Dennis Smith Jr., so that's actually... I forgot we traded for him. <laughs> totally forgot. Uh, I want to get rid of Tony Snell. I guess to the Spurs. Not for Met 2, but for a second round pick, definitely. Because I'm not gonna give they're not gonna give me Met 2. John Henson, please leave. Brandon Knight, please get the hell off my books. Uh the only guy I really want to bring back is Christian Wood. That's really the only guy. Um position changes. I think Luke Kennard. He doesn't have the defense to play our small forward. So I guess Okoro? He's six six. What's his defense looking like? Perimeter def B plus. He can definitely, and he goes up in overall. He can definitely play our small forward. So we got Dennis Smith Jr., Luke Kennard, Scotty Lewis, Isaac Okoro, uh, Seku, Wiseman. All right. Do I? I don't know if I want to send Seku to the G League for another year. I really don't. It's going to be another crap year. I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, affordable point guards. I mean, we're going to bring in some no name for not much money. Let's be honest here. We're not going to. Isaiah Thomas, he ain't no no name, but he's pretty damn solid. I mean, he could come in as our starting point guard. So we're actually going to give him 8 mil. We're going to give him a team option. I like doing the flats because it's just nicer to look at. So Isaiah Thomas on a team option we're going to try and bring in. Uh, backup center, I really don't want to bring back Don Maker. I really don't. Uh, backup center because I want James Wiseman to be the center. We don't want to spend much money here. Let's see, is there anything, like, solid? Solid for cheap? Like, Aaron Baines is old, though. Bismack Biombo isn't horrific. Uh, who fits our system best? Derek Favors. Jordan Bell. He's young, but he's more of a power forward. Marquise Chris. He wants 9 mil, though. Hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. I call Chief up. I don't think... Vernon Carey's a free agent. <laughs> Should we bring in Vernon Carey? I'm gonna bring in... Ver I Actually, Norris Noel is pretty nice. We we'll give no one's Noel a contract. We we'll give him seven mil, because seven mil team option. I know where the Pistons. We're not gonna be bringing in anyone really, but you know I like my team options. Uh, point guard, we just got Isaiah. Shooting guard, we're all set. Yeah, we're all set at shooting guard. Maybe Scotty Lewis go to G League. I don't know. Probably not. Small forward, we definitely need a change and power forward. Small forward and power forward. So power forwards fit our system best. Paul Millsap definitely not. Uh, Melo, no. He's not going to come to a team like this. Zach Randolph, you shouldn't even be in the league. Stanley Johnson, you're a bum. Wow. It's not looking good. Not look Dario Saric, I will definitely bring in. He can be a definitely a starter caliber player on our team. Once again, team option. He, I think he'd be a starter. I think we may send Sekou to the G League another year. Maybe not. Uh, who was it? Small forward. We need someone else. To run that small forward. We're bringing in kind of like guys that haven't been good in their career. Hopefully, they can, you know, be better on this team. That's kind of what we're doing. We're kind of doing the, like, the Miami Heat situation. Guys who weren't that good in their career, bringing them in and seeing if they can blossom. So, Denzel Valentine? No, no, not really. Rodney Hood? No. Derek Jones? I like Derek Jones Jr. He has no offers. Oh, I used them all up. Okay. Uh, Lewis King, no. Jordan Bone, no. No one's Noel, Isaiah Thomas, and Dario Sarge, definitely. We still gotta bring back Christian Wood. I'm not gonna bring back any of these guys. They're all gone. Uh, Christian Wood, we actually need to bring back, so we don't even need a power forward. So let me bring back Christian Wood. How much is he asking for? Why do I have bird rights on Thon Maker? That shouldn't be a thing. Where's Christian Wood at? He's right here. He's asking for 10 mil. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll bring him back. I mean... He's asking for 10 mil. Does he have any offers? No, he does not. So I'm going to... It says 12 mil. I'm going to try giving him 10 mil. I don't know why. But let's see if he'll accept 10 mil. I guess we'll... Long term. He declined it. All right. I guess we'll give him more than that. He's being picky. He's being a picky boy. I'll give you... A, I guess I'll give you 12 mil. If necessary. You're young. We can trade you. He's been really good for us. Yep. There we go. All right. We, I, I think that's a solid free agency for us. 
definitely a solid free agency. We got the point guard position locked down. Dennis Smith Jr., he is on a one-year deal. Uh, he doesn't have a team option, so that's kind of scary. We'll see how he performs next year. Probably off the bench, honestly. Uh, maybe not. Luke Kennard, definitely. He's probably he's definitely our best player. Scotty Lewis. Uh, we got Isaac Okoro. Uh, that dude, I don't know how to say his name. Seku might be going to the G League again. I hate to send him again, but he might be going because he's way too low of an overall. Uh, James Wiseman and Noel, I am definitely fine with this center rotation. We have a, we have the youngest team in the league. One person's over 30, and that's Isaiah. So, I'm definitely fine with this team. Dennis Smith, we can't send to the G League because he's a free agent. So, he might get the start. Scotty Lewis, I actually might want to send to the G League. Scotty Lewis, I'm going to send to the G League. So, that means how many players are we going to play? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we need one more player. And that's going to have to be a guard slash forward. So, who who here? D'Anthony Melton, but you're not a guard slash forward. Waiters, no. Uh, Andre Roberson, definitely not. Uh, no one really here is a guard slash forward. Rodney Hood? I mean, he kind of seems like our best option right now. Or even Joe Harris. I kind of want to wrap up this video, because this video is probably extremely long. I feel like I've been recording for the longest time. Denzel Valentine. Should I just bring him in? He doesn't fit our... Yeah, we'll bring him in. We'll bring him in on a one-year deal. One year, five mil. We'll see how he... Actually, I like I like these team options. I'm going to bring him in on two-year team options. See how he performs. There we go. And that's it for our free agency. I don't think that went bad whatsoever. We're obviously going to suck next year, but I think that was good free agency. Christian Wood is technically our best player, but he's tied with Luke Kennard. This team is very bad. Very, very bad, but I did say realistic. We don't have we only have one player that's eighty overall. But our oldest player is thirty one and the second oldest is twenty six. So that's a plus. So we got that going for us. We're not gonna worry about the summer league. We're gonna go straight to training camps. Next episode I'll play our first game. Figure out the rotation. Uh have C P or just rotation. I couldn't care less. It's the summer league. Uh we're not gonna auto generate. I usually would, but We'll go to 2021, and then I'll start auto-generating. Training camps, we got untapped potential 100%. We're going to send it to Seku. He's at an A. We're going to send it to... I don't think James Wiseman actually needs it. We're going to send it to Scotty Lewis. And I have a choice here. Do I send it to Okoro or Dennis Smith? What's his potential, actually? Because I want to keep him for the long term. Potential's an A-. minus. What's Scotty Lewis's potential? Not Scotty Lewis. Okoro. What's his potential? It's at A- minus also. Okoro is the higher overall, so I'm actually going to send it to Dennis Smith. It doesn't even move, so that's epic. Uh, so, yeah. That's it for the offseason. Uh, Isaiah Thomas. Do I want him to be the starter right away? We're going to have him start right away and see how our team performs. This team, uh, defensively, is not good. But we're not going to be good at all this season. Uh, where? Oh, yeah, because he's a 72 overall. He's definitely going to be playing. Uh, Tyler Johnson, no. I don't know why you're on this team. Uh, so he's going to be our sixth man. Neuron's Noel is going to get a good amount of minutes. We're going to have Dennis Smith definitely be our sixth man. Dario Sarge is going to be at 17. We're going to have you get 12. I want Dennis Smith getting a good amount. James Wiseman, you're not going to play that many minutes. Uh, Isaiah Thomas, 30. We want 30, 34. We want our best players playing. Like, straight up. Scotty Lewis is going to the G League. I got to remember that. Neuron's Noel and Dario will give more minutes too. And I guess that's really it. Yeah, that's really it. I'm not going to set scoring options. Citizen proficiency. Uh, seven seconds is the best. I'm sorry, Dwayne Casey. We're not going to fire you because there's no coach other than, uh, what's his name? Mike D'Antoni, that's seven seconds or less. But we have a lot of money. Is anyone going to go to the Pistons? Probably not, but we have a lot of money to sign like young players. So money is not an issue for us. We just got to send our young guys, like, say, Koo to the G League. And we got to sign someone to get him to the G League. Let's see. Who? Jonte Porter. Shout out to King of the Fourth Quarter. Uh, should we just sign him? Nicholas Ball, the, un the forgotten ball brother. Uh, I mean... Let's sign... No, Dragon Bender wants way too much, guy. All right, let's sign Jonte Porter. Let's sign Jonte Porter. 
one year deal. You're not going to play. Just for a shout out to King of the Fourth Quarter. And then Scotty Lewis will send to the G League. And that's going to be it. Do like you guys did enjoy this probably long video. Subscribe if you guys are new. That's it for me. GG.